Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. The Sagittarius are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be um, general, could be love. We're going to take whatever comes out here and just take it as it goes. And I just like to apologize for not having your readings out sooner as I was very sick last week. Um, I ended up getting the flu, so it knocked me out for a complete seven days basically and I'm feeling better now I still have a cough so I may cough throughout this reading if I do I'm sorry um, I really can't help that but um, welcome Sagittarius so let's see what's going on with you at this time I do say at this time I do consider all my readings timeless so if you'd like to go back and watch previous readings links below in the description box to your general and love playlist as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift. All that information is below. And I will also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. Also, so I just had the moon show up to me. So it could be dealing with the Cancer or Pisces. But I did not ask yet. So, all right, the Sagittarius. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If you feel like it's not making sense for you, it's probably not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit. Could be past, present, future. Um, could be something going around on with someone around you, not necessarily you. So please keep that in mind. But it may af be affecting you. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus. Depending what we get. If we get love, I'll say Venus. If not, then... But we'll say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you have Sag in any of those placements... All right, so Sagittarius this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign element planet. See what comes out for you. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. Feeling that one wanted to jump out. Sagittarius, we have air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could have it in your chart. I know somebody that has it in their chart, but air is all about uh, thoughts, ideas, communication, conversations, um, truth, honesty. So see how that plays into your reading. All right. So what I'm going to do now with this deck here is sort of get an opening message for you. Then we'll pull another one for your energy and then we'll pull tarot around that energy. And then we'll look at your current situation, advice, possible outcome, and get closing messages with the other deck. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius at this time what is your opening message spirit please thank you so much let's chew All right, this one wants to jump out at me confidence and we have 18 which is nine nine can be a independent single number it can be about wishes and dreams coming true nine is almost at the end of a cycle you get nine you get ten and then after ten starts a new cycle with one, a new beginning. So confidence, you may be um, needing confidence. Maybe there's a cycle closing out for you and maybe you're lacking a little bit of confidence. And this is telling you that you maybe need to build up your confidence or you may need confidence here to speak some kind of truth in some kind of way. That's with that air energy. All right, so let's get one Another one here for your energy. Wow. <laughs> we have ant here, which is strength. It did was in reverse. So you may be lacking a little bit of inner confidence, strength, willpower, determination. I don't usually do reversals um, in Oracle cards, so I'm not going to take it reversed. But we do have strength. You could also be dealing with a Leo because this is the card of Leo. Strength is Leo in the um, tarot. But uh, you need strength and confidence here. And I see all this red, like orange fire energy, which is the fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. So you may be needing uh, strength, confidence, um, kind of like bold energy. I just noticed here 18, 19 progression. So you could be making progression here, building up your confidence and strength to speak some kind of truth with the air energy. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom. We have personal protection, 44. So 44 is, you know, you wouldn't really add a double number together. So the number of four is about your foundation, your basis um, kind of energy. 
But if you do add it together, it's eight. It's about taking action, travel, communication. So needing to protect yourself here, personal protection. I'm just going to read a little bit about that. And etch, etch, I don't even know how to say that. Anyway, it looks like a porcupine, but it's not. <laughs> 44. <coughs> okay, let's see. You are being asked to open your heart to the needs of those around you. In the nurturing they can offer, stop shutting people out. You need to let down your guard, relax your sense of personal protection, develop tolerance, and begin to trust. Wow, so... I'm thinking you need confidence and strength here to let down your guard a little bit, not being so um, untrusting kind of energy or on guard. Shunning anything or anyone that may divert you from your path is great if you want to live in independent life, but Ekna, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say that, warns against protecting yourself to the point that your heart becomes impenetrable. Helps us understand the fundamental distinction between denial and determination or more to the point, the difference between not wanting assistance and not needing support. The, in, the idea of an independent lifestyle may appear attractive, free of the hassles of, the, of commitment and responsibility to others, but if you become too complacent, you may accidentally find yourself exiled from social activity altogether. Your friends may, wonder, may wander away, for example, in your family may forget to invite you to family events. To stand rigid and distant from those in your life will eventually give rise to the general belief that you are unapproachable, ungrateful, aggressive, and lacking humility. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right, Sag. Let's see what's going on. What is going on with you, Sag? But I see... The energy of ear here, ear here, though, and that is all about communication, ideas, thoughts, truths. So, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe, you know, you need to speak your truth to somebody, but you're being too overprotective of yourself, of your heart, of yourself. Um, so, let's see. You know, strength can also be about, you know, that willpower, taming the beast within, holding back kind of energy, you know, feeling confident, maybe, I don't want to say cocky, but maybe a little, you know, ego-ish too, um, like pride kind of energy also. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I'm just wondering why they have an ant here for strength, but... <laughs> Okay, so, Sag, let's see. Yeah, we got the Four of Cups energy, which can be about being bored, complacent. And then we got the Ace of Wands, which is a fiery, passionate new beginning. Um, something exciting. It could be a new project, endeavor, uh, something in career. It could be a new person. A feeling like here, I mean, there is an opportunity here for a fiery um, new beginning of some kind. But you may have, you may be getting a lot of offers or a lot of people interested in you. Because you see all the cups here being held out. But you're only drinking from your own cup. So I don't think you're really interested in anything around you at this time. But, I mean... There is this, though, so <clears throat> there's something here that has you excited and feeling passionate, yet you don't want it. So you're trying to tame the beast from within with that strength energy, feeling, you know, confident, prideful, yet the energy of air. So, or that could just be that you're dealing uh, the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see. Three of Swords. Yeah, you don't want to get your heart broken again. So, yeah, this fear here of something not working out, having your heart broken, broken again kind of energy. Empress. Emperor or Empress doesn't matter here. So, I mean, the Empress usually gives birth to something new. She's like the mother of the deck. 
embodies all the queens of the deck. Um, she's nurturing, caring, giving. This is about growth and abundance. So there is an opportunity here to for the birth of something new because it's right here, but yet you're not quite reaching for it. Because I believe fear here of possibly having your heart broken again. Yeah, so you're kind of withdrawn, go within. You know, you're spending time alone. Kind of just like the book said here, um, with personal protection, like protecting yourself. Because usually the hermit is doing that inner journey soul work and you see the lantern lit up as they're trying to find, it, find their way, their path, their light. But I feel like it's an energy of you just retreating, going solo, and just like, it may not even be about doing inner journey soul work, maybe just about, I just want to be left alone kind of energy. All right, so let's, it's too many. Two one. So this is about making plans, decisions for the future. As you look out into the distance. So, I mean, you may be unsure about your future. Because usually, this is the before tarot. Usually in a regular tarot, the uh, person here has a grip of one of the wands and they know exactly where they're going. So they're making, looking out, making those plans for the future. And this one, he's just trying to decide where, where he's going to go. What is he going to do? As he's holding the globe, the world up, trying to decide what direction he wants to go in. So I feel like you're very unsure about your future, like where you want to go, what you want to do. So I think you're just kind of like in retreat mode. But you do see, because you're looking right at the Empress here, you do see there's an opportunity of something new here, with, could be with another person, but this fear here of having those swords pierced through your heart again, ending up with another broken heart. Oh boy, Sag. All right, so let's get your actual situation. So here you are showing up in your reading with the Wheel of Fortune. So what you're looking at and what you're afraid of is actually something destined for you. It's meant to be, it's fate, it's destiny, divine timing. This is the wheel stepping in, the universe stepping in, God trying to guide you in the right direction. As you see, the hermit here tries to find that light, that path that way. But you have to light your own path first to look further beyond that path to see what's ahead. But this lantern isn't even lit, so I feel like there isn't even soul, any soul searching at this time. But the wheel here is trying to guide you in the right direction. Well, we have strength showing up again. It just flipped in my hand. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. So we got strength here twice. Definitely needing strength and courage here to do something. And the universe is trying to push you, push you in that direction. And I think you're trying to fight it, if that makes any sense. Four of Pentacles energy here is about right in the middle, is about holding back. Holding back from something but also like holding on, but yet holding back. <laughs> it's kind of that energy. It's like you can hold on to something, not let it go, but also you can hold back also. So I think you're trying to like hold yourself back. Like you're trying to control this wheel. Three of Pentacles. So it's about working together, teamwork, collaboration. Oh, what else here? The Fool. So there's that leap of faith, um, jumping right in, starting fresh, starting from scratch, starting from zero. Taking So the universe wants you to take this leap of faith with something, somebody, work together with somebody, but yet you're holding back. I think you're trying to resist it with the strength card. Like you're trying to resist the wheel, pushing you towards something or someone. Maybe you're not feeling confident enough. To go towards this person, place, or thing. Feeling more, it's like a person. But, uh, I mean, you do have strength there twice. So I feel like you really need to muster up off all your strength and courage and willpower. And let the wheel of fortune guide you in the right direction. Because there is a new beginning here waiting for you. 
a new a new <laughs> fool's journey i don't want to say a fool's journey doesn't mean you're a fool but universe wants you to work with somebody and take a leap of faith but you're holding back and you're trying to fight the wheel here i feel oops so let's see what your advice is yeah the hangman so i think you need to take a new perspective on this think about it differently gain a new perspective um, I mean, the hangman is about pausing, taking a break, but it's also about becoming enlightened and gaining a new perspective. Because you do have success and victory here. Accomplishment. Attention. Queen of Cups. So this is definitely about love and emotions here. And the Knight of Cups. So that's moving forward with community, loving communication or apologies or a love offer. So I feel like here, I mean, this is your advice for your situation. Because <coughs> I think you need to think, really think about it here and gain some sort of new perspective on this, something that you're trying to fight, that the wheel is trying to push you towards. But you need to see what, I guess, the success and victory could be in this situation. With, you know, these feelings or emotions or, as could, you know, love or whatever it is here. And what would actually happen if I took that leap, leap of faith in love here towards this person? And I think Spirit wants you to see um, the success and victory that could lie here in that. Okay, so let's see. Will you take this leap? What is the possible outcome here? The Sagittarius, will they take this leap of faith? Oh, we got the sun. Wow, we got heavy Leo coming up here. We got strength twice. We got the sun. Wow. Let's see. Eight of swords. So that's your mental entrapment of your own doing. I And this is, like I said, the before tarot. So she's just starting to overthink starting to get into that state of can't get out of my own way my own thoughts now we have judgment so making a final judgment call to resurrect this or it could be something about forgiveness definitely this angel brings soulmates together here as with the sun is usually indicative of soulmate twin flame energy so I feel like decision will be made here. A judgment call to either go for this um, joy, happiness. Sun is everything positive, most positive card in the deck. It's joy, it's happiness, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, um, happy, everything. So there may be a decision here to go for that happiness before you get too caught up in your head and overthink it too much because then you may just go back into this um, cycle here. So let's see what's on the bottom. So we have the queen of wands, king or queen, doesn't matter. So again, there's that fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. And there's an offer. So I do see an offer being made of some kind and it being accepted, something stable and grounded. Uh, could be long term it's slow building it's prosperous growth expansion here's cupid's arrows with communication or um, messaging over the internet or something like that here's my twin flame card again the four of wands something stable grounded um home life could be about ceremonies celebrations this is usually uh, indicative of marriage or commitment or something along those lines so it's the Five of Pentacles energy about abandonment left out in the cold. And then we have the Three of Cups energy um, about reuniting, coming back together, celebrating. So it could be an energy of finally here leaving that like loneliness, neglect energy, leaving it behind. The Five of Pentacles energy. I just drop the card. Sorry about that. And then we have the Three of Cups coming back together, reuniting, celebrating. Four of Wands, stable, grounded um, connection here of some kind. 
uh, communication, solid offer for the long term, and your energy, fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. So we do have Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, let's see. We have the Empress here, which is a Libra, Taurus, Virgo. Your energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo again, Scorpio. So a lot of fire energy here. I mean, we do have strength with the ant, which is Leo. So you have Leo three times here in your reading, if that means um, anything to some of you. So I do see the potential here for a connection with a soulmate to inflame. That could be very stable, successful, if you're willing to take that leap of faith. Um, and not overthink this so much or get over, you know, pride, ego, fear here. And I think that's been coming out like almost for you in almost every single reading I've been doing, Sagittarius. <laughs> All right. So let's get some closing messages with this deck. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you've seen, I did reach, <coughs> sorry, 10,000 just over a week ago. So I plan to do some sort of deck giveaway and a free reading giveaway. So keep a look out for that. Um, I'm very behind because of um, being sick. So I'm trying to catch up on my readings. I have personal readings book that I need to do yet. So, but thank you to all my new subscribers. Those have reached out for personal reading. Those tip, donate, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. Couldn't do it without you guys. And Sag, if you're new, you like how my style, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, you won't miss out. Or you can check out my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Get about five readings a month. All right. What do we have with Sagittarius? So here, yeah, yep, yeah, bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risk and be daring. Exactly. So I feel like you're needing to build up your confidence and strength here to be bold and take this leap of faith. Instead of having fear, overthinking kind of energy. All right. Let's see. High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So some of you um, may have spiritual gifts in some way uh, or needing to listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing as with this high priestess energy. But the high priestess also can be an energy of keeping things to herself and not really saying anything, which you could be in this energy here of not uh, communicating anything if this is a person Medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. So some of you have some gifts here, or maybe you're not even aware of the gifts you have. So medicine man, woman, doesn't matter. So independent, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Wow, so we got strength, the word strength here, and that came up twice. Wow, I can't make this up. So some of you may have just, some of you may have just become Independent, maybe why that's why you're having this fear of moving into something new. So we have expect a miracle, Mother Mary. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Hmm. Expect a miracle. Mary may, um, that name may mean something to some of you. So whatever you're expecting or been praying on, uh, just know they're heard and they're being answered. And you can expect a miracle. So whatever that means for you. All right, Sagittarius, best of luck to you. Sending you um, many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.